hi taurus welcome to your december reading i'm so excited to do your reading taurus has a special place in my heart because my moon's in taurus and someone that i love is a taurus so <laughs> you know what i'm saying but my moon's in taurus and tropical astrology so i do have a special place in my heart for taurus but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the readings have been a little crazy lately. So that's just a warning. Do not shoot the messenger. Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon energy. And you can see this card right here. It says, a new start is coming, new moon energy. This card is so like vibrant. <clears throat> so let's get into the tarot. I think I want to use this uh, tattoo deck right here. My newest deck. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see what's going on with you um, in December. So we're going to check out like what energy you're coming in with. We're going to check out what energy you're coming in with. We're going to check out overall energy. We're going to check out um, what's happening in the middle of December. And we're going to check out the end of December. So what is the energy that Taurus is walking into December with? <clears throat> What is the energy that Taurus is walking into December with? So they're all reversed. Nine and ten of swords. And the magician in reverse. Right on top of the new start is coming card. And the magician is the first card of the major arcana. And the magician <laughs> talks about new like new manifestations so we're in alignment here let's get it the i do see you already coming in december with this new fresh like energy at the same time i see you have a bit of lack of confidence maybe you're not tr so trusting into the universe it's like you have an idea for yourself but at the same time i feel like you're worried about how is this going to work out you're worried about the connection um so i'll give you this bit of insight in order for you to attract what you want you have to believe what does believing mean it means having faith what does having faith mean it means trusting yourself and trusting the universe so um in order for you to attract what you want you have to believe in the connection of your attractions what does that mean if i'm want to if i want to attract right because everything that we have we attract um met with that we manifest manifesting is simply attracting okay so in order for you to attract what you want say that i'm trying to attract i want to manifest a thousand dollars right um i have to believe i have to have faith in the connection the connection is the thing the middleman that's going to get me that a thousand dollars right so i'm going to be making sure that i'm putting i'm doing my part by you know i'm not just going to be like sitting on my bed if i'm trying to attract a thousand dollars right i'm going to be doing whatever Every, everybody's life is different you know um but i'm going to be making sure i'm taking those practical steps to attract that and then believing that the universe will do their part its part on meeting me halfway does that make sense with the nine of swords i see that you <clears throat> might be also like trying to get out of negative energy trying to get out of i'm getting the star in reverse vibes like self-limiting beliefs um i feel like you're definitely healing okay so that might be part of your new start as well um um 
coming becoming more like shifting perspectives here becoming more emotionally balanced and um also i don't think this is like a correct term but also becoming like intelligently balanced i don't think that's the right thing like you are becoming more intelligent you are the sun is rising you're becoming more intelligent um like <clears throat> you are shifting your perspective okay you're releasing self-limiting beliefs and negative perspectives so that's the energy that you're working with coming in to uh coming into december the chariot in reverse be careful that <clears throat> um that you're making right decisions hmm. why is the chariot in reverse the four of wands in reverse um i feel like you're overwhelmed and i i get that with if you're with this nine and ten of swords you're healing you're trying to definitely shift perspectives here and i feel like you're kind of in a big like limbo situation where one day or one part of the day you might feel really good and another part of the day you might feel really shit the four of wands in reverse i do see you know a successful outcome <clears throat> I do see it being uh, something that's unexpected, though. Tell me about this Four of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> the Nine of Cups in reverse. So, we have two nines on the board. Um, um, something was a quote was coming to my head, but I lost it. And then another quote would place it and said, Closed mouths don't get fed, which, yes, that is true. But also, damn it, what is that quote? It keeps coming and leaving. Closed mouths don't get fed. Well, maybe that's it. Closed mouths don't get fed. Okay, if the other quote comes to my head. I'll tell you guys, but with the Nine of Cups in reverse, it's definitely giving that energy. I don't know why. That's just what came to my head. Two of Cups in reverse. All your cards are in reverse, Taurus. It's okay. Two of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Swords in reverse. You might be um, healing from a lover or some sort of situation that just didn't work out how you expected it. Maybe that's what's happening here. Eight of swords in reverse. We have the eight, nine, and ten of swords in reverse. So most definitely getting out of your head and releasing. There is a big, huge, ginormous release of energy, negative energy. And make sure that you're replacing that with good, abundant, loving um, energy, okay? the empress yes 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 and we have the fool on the back of the deck give me one second while i put these blinds up You guys, a new start is coming. Oh, most definitely it is. Look at that. The Fool is card zero. It is the foundation of tarot. It is the foundation of us and of our journeys and of new timelines. Okay, a new start is coming. A new timeline is coming for you in December. Wow. And the Empress, like, um, this is a glow up 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 this is a glow up 
please know and i feel like you know this you're working you're working because you're working on it you're working on these reversals here are good reversals not ever just because a card is in reverse does not mean it's bad and like it ne like there's never there's never a bad reading it's all like every the only thing that's constant is five is change okay so everything's always going to be changing the energy is always changing and you know we change to grow we change to become free so anyway the empress is all about money it's all about beauty it's all about abundance there's an eagle on here which is interesting um so yeah you're going to be looking amazing you're going to be feeling amazing not only are you going to look good but you are going to feel out of this world you are going to be able to attract you're going to be able to manifest anything you're going to learn how to truly be a magician the magician is underrated as fuck we have zero the fool and the magician new timeline new just a new start a new start new new material things new perspective a new like it's like a whole new world wow beautiful energy all right let's not forget that your dreams need a practical plan here though um taurus so whatever that you are working on make sure that you just put a plan in motion okay your dreams are ginormous. Your dreams are big, which is amazing. But make sure that you have a plan in taking those uh, practical steps forward. Okay. Can you tell me more about <coughs> that, please? Because for whatever reason, that came to mind. Tell me more about this. The Three of Swords in Reverse healing more healing energy the queen of pentacles in reverse the tower what happened Okay, the Fool coming out in reverse here now. And the Three of Cups in reverse. Damn. Okay, so we have do we do have two threes here. The Fool in reverse, the Tower on the Two of Cups in reverse. There could have been a third party situation with this Queen of Pentacles, okay? So, mm. I was trying to see who that magician was and then the seven of wands in reverse talks about like not putting up a fight being non-resistant hmm so I mean I guess that would make sense so I don't think actually that I do think that this magician in reverse might be your person obviously not manifesting not being clear on his manifestations and there we have that queen of pentacles in reverse the six of swords in reverse okay taurus So, the Knight of Cups in reverse. You could not make this shit up. Like, I didn't, I'm getting, like, chills. I'm like, fuck, I'm getting hot here. I didn't know that this was, that this is where this was going. So, let's not forget here. You are this Empress here, Taurus. You are the Empress. 
nothing can fuck with you okay let's get that straight let's also remember you're this healing energy here you're this healing energy here and then i started your dreams need a practical plan that might be because i feel like you might be you might stay The, the, the empress energy is here for you to tap into but i feel like right now you're healing and this is trying this is like why like why this told me why you're healing okay um because i asked about this your dreams needing a practical plan well why would your dreams need a practical plan if you're this empress so it's obviously this is your potentialis here and you're healing from this motherfucker who was in a third party situation and it's showing me that you're the empress here because you are the better option, quote unquote. Um, you're just more, you're just um, more, <laughs> you just have higher status than this other person. So just to tell you that, but I mean, the cards don't lie. The knight of cups in reverse, I mean, come on. It's like pouring into that queen of pentacles. Is someone who is giving their heart to someone but it is it, what these in reverse it's the wrong it was the wrong person or that they have made a mistake you know they let their guard down they weren't they didn't fight for y'all's relationship the nine of cups in reverse they weren't happy it didn't they it's like they instantly knew that they fucked up they fucked up you found out like shortly after and now you're healing and there was a fool coming out in reverse it's like you do you know intuitively that you need to move on and that you want a new start but it's like you're healing okay you're healing and it's hard to move on when we're hurt when our heart is sad mm-hmm yep and the three of cups in reverse uh you know third party three three here So, give me some more on uh, Taurus, though. Give me some more on this Empress and where she's headed. Tell me more about this Empress and where she's headed. The Five of Cups in reverse. More healing, okay? More healing for you. So, I see December is going to be a huge transformative month for you in terms of your emotional healing and your emotional intelligence okay a new start is coming remember that um tell me more about taurus oh i was about to scream but i'm kind of high and i'm <laughs> trying to keep it chill here I knew he was coming out. I knew he was coming out. I felt it. I should have said it, but it's fine. Um, I know myself, okay? I don't need to prove anything to you guys. The Emperor has come out. I feel like as you heal, he's going to come in January, okay? Because we don't want someone... Okay, actually, I think you actually might know this person and because I feel like they're watching you heal, okay? This might be someone that you've known for a while and you guys now are coming back together in this new timeline, bossing up. Y'all have both have bossed up. You have now become the empress and I feel like he has had your, his eye on you for a while and now you guys have made the perfect pair. Tell me more. You have someone coming in, but like I said, I feel like they've had your eye on you and they're like watching you currently, but you're y'all aren't going to come together until January because you are definitely still healing. You're not even worried about a new person, but you do have your, not just any person. This is your person and this is someone who hasn't made they are a king they are not just a king they are an emperor and you are the empress you are the empress to this emperor okay you have found your match you have found your divine counterpart this is a type of relationship that everyone like dreams about but very few actually manifest attract and are with we have the hermit in reverse okay a virgo energy the emperor is aries energy so it might be an aries um 
it might be a virgo we have the queen of swords again you're just bossing the month of december for you is a huge transformative glow up boss up month for you you're really shining you're really growing the eight of cups walking away from something that no longer serves you and you're walking away away from something bad into something good okay the five of wands in reverse and it's like this is you're taking the path you're taking the path of least resistance and this is a message for you to just be non-resistant to just go with the flow and trust in the universe this is your time to go within take the time you need to become who you truly are tell me more about this hermit in reverse The hangman mm -hmm. yep you are very much just transforming you're never going to be the same again 2022 is going to be such a beautiful year for you um take this time in december to grow and learn and become your highest self because you are doing that you truly are doing that you truly are doing that the ace of pentacles um you know, when we're healing, we need kind of a quote-unquote distraction. You taking up, a, I don't know if you currently have a job that's going to bring you new abundance and new money and just like a new passion and lust for life. Or if you've had this idea of starting something new, I see that putting your um, focus and energy into that is going to... Um, um, bring you this confidence that you're lacking. Um, is it going to um, bring you, you know, uh, more faith? It's going to keep your faith and sustain your faith. Okay. And the nine of uh, pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you're if you're thinking like. Oh, I'm so stressed like I'm uh, if you're not feeling good um, keeping your your hands busy with work and with your purpose you know whatever's going to bring in the coins for you that's going to uh, transmute this negative energy and just get the ball rolling um, in terms of your abundance and your happiness and kind of just putting the pieces together with your mind body and soul focusing on work and just the material this could also be you setting a routine for yourself or going to the gym or working out also with eating good and um having a schedule for eating and drinking water and bathing in your work schedule and your hobbies okay empress mode you don't need anyone and this is your time to really shine and remember the eight of cups you're walking away from something that no longer serves you currently in order for you to fulfill your destiny and fulfill your uh truest you know your truest heart's desires your north node following your north node here all right give me I was trying to get these cards out from the last pile. I didn't know they were in there. Give me Oracle for Taurus, please. Give me Oracle for Taurus. Oops. Oh, I love this card. Yin. Yin. And you are here on the top yin is intuition trust patience spirituality and receptivity yin i feel is a female energy of the signs and i feel like you're right on top there let me see if i can read these so taurus cancer virgo scorpio i'm not sure what that one is and i think that is pisces i don't know what that one is We also have opposition, imbalance, a point of tension, and a power struggle between your intuition and what? And Taurus! Oh my gosh! And your 
trust and trust trusting yourself Taurus. trust patience and sensuality there's an imbalance between your own intuition okay we also have sextile on the back of the deck a combination of tension and flow potential and a rewarding situation this is so lovely i'm obsessed i'm going to read um the yin card and also read the taurus card because why not yin is the energy of the divine feminine one half of creation this is the subterranean subconscious realm of conception feelings and ideas are nurtured in this womb-like space with no pressure to do only to be yin is patient and present open and trusting it's the unconfined unspoken unexpressed world of dreams and spirit here lie the roots beneath the tree and the dark night that birth that bursts that okay here lie the roots beneath the tree in the dark night that births day's light it's where anything is possible being an inward ethereal force is linked to the elements of water and earth as a result all water and earth signs within the zodiac are considered yin Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Pisces. Keep in mind that this is distilled femininity and makes no reference to physical sexes. Yin energy lives within both male and female bodies. I am obsessed with yin energy. I'm such a yin person. Taurus, Cancer, and Virgo are my big three in tropical, so don't play with me. Omen. Allow space for stillness. Release any pressure to perform or express. Travel inward. Nurture your private world. Go for a gentle walk in nature. Sit for a warm cup of tea or take an afternoon nap. Anything that supports you in deep presence with self. You don't need to look outside yourself for definition or validation. Trust in, the, in this moment. Marinate in this magical space where anything is possible. As a long-term practice, consider your balance between yin and yang, your spiritual life and physical life. Both vital energies ebb and flow within as two sides of creation. Do you feel a harmonious balance? <laughs> so let's read your Taurus sign and then I'll end your reading. Taurus, like Mother Nature herself, Taurus is grounded in the process of becoming. It understands that a goal and the pathway toward it are one and the same, moving through time with patient stability. It's tempered like a flower and won't be rushed, growing from seed to sprout to bud to blossom. Taurus is one with the earth and loves experiencing life through the senses. Being Venus ruled, it's a lover of beauty, valuing everything from art to fine, f to fine food to bodywork. It appreciates architecture and beautiful landscapes. It enjoys luxuries and accumulating things of value. The shadow of this energy is, of course, being overly materialistic, lost in the superficial. And even its earthiness can be problematic and excess because, like a flower's path to bloom, being set in its way makes it stubborn. There's no changing nature's course. However, when balanced, Taurus is an optimal energy for any living thing because it's wired to live by Mother Nature's laws. It's in flow with the rhythm of life, poised to thrive and enjoy what Earth has to offer. I, to I, I loved, how could you not love a Taurus? I love myself and I love my person and everyone who really embodies Taurus energy but because like it said if you're you know every sign has its positive and it has its polarity you know uh, an, a, an imbalanced Taurus could be quite superficial which is not good at all let me try to finish this before the time's up omen perhaps you've been feeling out of alignment or fearful be patient and trust in your process of becoming 
Think deeply into each moment, even if you find yourself in trying times. Feel your way into each forward step, always asking yourself what aligns and what doesn't. Your body is an instrument to connect to the wisdom of this moment, so honor your inner knowing through every sensory experience. Give your growth the gift of time. There's no rush. The blossom rose lives within the bud. So beautiful. That was your reading, Taurus. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.